Yo guys, what is going on here? It is your boy from Land and on the Jet and I'm bringing you a brand new video for the LDL Z Move Season 3 Draft Recap. But today I am unfortunately alone. I was supposed to have a new player in the community uh, and, a, and a new part of the format, Ted for Prez. But unfortunately, our schedules could not link up, so I'm recording this by myself. Going through 16 characters and all 12 of their picks. So for Brennan, that is 192 quick math so with that being said let's get into this uh, and let's reveal uh, the first pick here first pick we have Dragapult no surprise there no shock from the Seattle Primarinas and their coach Waverly yeah, Dragapult Dragapult does what Dragapult does so uh, 142 base speed Brennan squid third fastest mon in the meta with zero or at one at 143 a Salgor at 145 but, like that, in terms of possibility, without no moves, just uh, items and abilities, it's, I want to say like the 8th, 7th fastest in the game, because you have to take into effect Unburden and through some users if possible, and also Vault Dog and also Quick Feet with With that being said, Dragonbot does what Dragonbot does. It's Dragon Ghost type is perfect for the format. It's just <coughs> you, it can be it can be run special, physical. But the problem is physical. It's only good Ghost type move is Phantom Force, but you can run a Power Herb with that sort of Phantom Force hits first turn. Perfect, powerful. But moving on to our next pick here, we have. Freeze Spectre Facades and their coach Ice Ninja Alpha with a Tapu Bulu. Now, the second pick Tapu Bulu is quite shocking, I will admit, because this is on showdown. So it is quite shocking to have here. <sighs> so Bulu uh, does, does get a boost. I think it gets Grassy Glide. It also gets Play Rough. Uh, I think I want to say Close Combat also. So it, gets, so it gets a huge boost, huge buff from the DLC. Which helps it out perfectly. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, sorry. It's 12 a.m. I'm ready to go to sleep. But with that being said, Bulu, awesome second pick. Now, I will say here, this draft recap is not, is not going to be long. Like, I'm just going to basically go through, say the pick, move on essentially, pretty much. Like, just going to get everyone done with. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry for shit housing at Zemu, but <laughs> fuck the fights we took ages to do. But I'm gonna do my best. Give hopefully give the best content that I can give you. It's a lot harder to do it by myself with that with with without feeding off someone. But I hope that you enjoy this nonetheless. So moving on to pick three, we have we have the Melbourne Crocodiles and and their coach Glob of Doom, a fellow Aussie. A uh, fellow state member as well, uh, and this pick was Urshiri single for 17 points. Now this is a good pick for third pick. Urshiri single, wicked blow, and unseen fist, absolutely powerful. Breaks to protect, guarantees crit. Um, uh, other than against, other than against, Shell Armor Pokemon, but Shell Armor Pokemon are normally rock typing as well. So that fighting type there helps help, helps cover that weakness. Sets it in perfectly. But. Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired. My god. But. As you're using it, uh, Fairy type is a problem with it, but it, but, it, but it does have access to Poison Jab and Iron Head, depending on what move you need to bring for the for the fairy that, that comes against it. But with the speed set of 97, it's decent, it's average, but if you want to do some more damage, you need to pair it up with some with some speed control, whether it be a Thunder Wave users, uh, Sticky Web, or even like Magic Bounce, or or otherwise you then have to run Sucker Punch or Scarf on it to be able to have some viability facing the 98 and upper tier speed mods. Moving on to the fourth pick, we have we have Durham Wiggle Butts. And they coach Hanny, picking up Tabu Lele, picking up, picking up the more expensive 
Tapu Koko is banned this season with rising voltage, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's what, three runs out of four picks? Jesus. But yeah, so we have the Dome Wiggly Butts here. Pikachu Lele and Tapu Lele, I don't know what he gets in the in the new format. Should probably have it pulled up here. I will quickly pull up something, see if I see if I get something up quickly. Just to give some sort of information on the monster, or, or else I'm going to shit half ass at all for half ass at all the time for you lot here. And I don't and I don't think we want that. So I think, yeah, but uh, Tapu Lele gets expanding force, which is which is which is going to be really helpful. It gets power slot of Psycho Cut, it, it gets Future Slot, and it also gets access to Play Rough, but being a special attacker, I'm not going to work much. It also gets access to Rest as well, which will help it eventually. Yeah, it gets it, it gets Expanding Force, Misty Explosion, and Terrain Pulse. So Tapu Layla is going to is going to be a force to be to be reckoned with for sure. So I'm excited to see how Honey will use Tapu Layla and get on with it. But moving on to the next pick, we have pick five, the um, Kansas City Don fans picking up the Lake Coach rookie, picking up Salah Steeler, another 18 mon here. Now Salah Steeler, Salah Steeler, it is just a great raw, uh, low HP, but just I said low HP. I want to say 61 for some reason, but I'm having a feeling it's like 90, 90 as well for some reason. Salah Steeler is. 97. Why? Speed is 61. That's what I was thinking, yes. Psst, tad on the slow side, but, it, but, if, but if Ricky compared this with a uh, Shukun user, awesome, all, awesome speed control also, Cell Stealer can just basically sit in there and just essentially wall the crap out of the team. Unfortunately, it does not get access to Body Press, which would have been absolutely OP in this format with, uh, with, with Iron Defense. And boost boost defensively, but yeah, but Cell Steel is just a force to reckon with. Uh, it, it picks up cosmic power, it picks up cosmic power. Cell Steel getting cosmic power is absolutely amazing. Gets self destruct as well, body slam as well, endure and mega horn now. Cell Steel is gonna, is gonna be a problem to deal with, but uh, let's hope Ricky here knows how to use the Steeler and he's able to use it to his uh, to to his full force. Moving on to pick six, we have the Glaring Gentleman and their coach, Gator, picking up Mega Gallade, Mega Gallade, just a powerhouse at speed stats. Uh, it also gets access to a bunch of new moves. Oh, no, it doesn't. It did. Oh, they don't have any orbs. Oh. Well, uh, Galay, but I'm pretty sure pre pre Galay got a massive boost with move wise. With move wise, uh, actually going to actually get Deglame, Crane Punch. Yeah, did can't be get old. Don't think this is going to be a long night, but yeah, but uh, we're here with Pick Six Galay, absolute powerhouse. Uh, attacks that of. Has an attack stat of 165, 110 speed, 115 special defense, and 95 special defense. Like this Pokemon is an absolute powerhouse. He can take it. He can, he can at speed Pokemon, and it can give physical attacking hits. This mod, Dark types are immune to psychic. But if you bring in a Dark type, you are you are copying a fighting attack to the face. The only way you can counter this Pokemon essentially. Is to bring Spirit Tomb or Sableye. It's the only way. But Spirit Tomb is booty, and Sableye is booty in its form. Like, uh, like Galade gets the Dazzling Gleam now. It does not have time for for Sableye of that. It'll, it oh, Dazzling Gleam is no, it's special. It does not get access to any physical fairy type attacks. Ooh, interesting. Get Solar Blade. 
Prove you on a, on a stun team as well. So it pos endless uh, endless possibilities gets access to cripple axel as well. So looking forward to see how Gator can use his Gallade. But moving on to the next pick, we have pick seven with the Minnesota Mimikyu's and their coach Shy picking up Mega Morwall, the absolute just powerhouse Me Mega Morwall. Nothing is needed to be CD with Morwall. Morwall is just hits like a truck. It gets intimidate before pre uh, Mega. It then gets access to huge power and you can get up a sword stance and just absolutely slaughterhouse the rest of the team with Sucker Punch. But if you're at speed, nothing is taking it. Nothing is taking uh, player off or iron head like this. Mega Morwell is, is Mega Morwell in the 18 point tier for a reason. The eighth pick we have, we have another steel type picked up by Blind Messiah and the, and his team the Vienna Vibe Checks in AG Slash. Now, AG Slash here did get a nerf coming into Gen 8 lost lost a 10 base on its on its on its on its on, on its originally 150 base, but it's now come down to 110 because can we saw it. As just too too much of a powerhouse, so Age of Flash is here now. It's here to stay forever. Looking to see what Sean can do with Age of Flash here. As endless possibilities, you can run it defensively. You can run it defensively. You can run it. You can you can run it mixed, physical, special. Like there are endless possibilities for for, for Age of Flash here, and I'm, and I look forward to see what Sean can do with it. Moving on to the ninth pick, we have the Verbank City. Victory and their coach, the Junior Junior Sia Rubber, Junior Junior, junior Sia Rubber, and they picked up Glaring Darmanitan. Glaring Darmanitan is allowed in the Nat Dex format because there are a lot more answers to it, and that's the reason why it is 17 points and not 18 points because there are answers to it now out there. So, still don't get me wrong, still, still, hits, like, still hits like a truck, still hits hard. But I'm looking forward to see what Junior can do about this and how to use it, because there are people that, all, 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 although it's an easy one to use, there, there are people that still don't know how to use it, and I'm looking forward to see how he can use it this, this season. To the tenth pick, we have the Greek Charizards and Tornado Theory in here with, in Star Wars. So Tornado Theory gets nasty plot. Uh, Pretty much also it gets, gets nasty plot. Torn Theory gets nasty plot and just an absolute boost. Like it is unreal that they've given Torn T nasty plot. Like and you add regenerator. Add add the U-turn to to be able to add the regenerator. To able to to able to benefit from the from the regenerator. It also gets access to Lush Out from the new data mine. It even gets Weather Ball uh, Body Slam as well. Like, Taunty can, can be run special and also physical here. So there are on, endless possibilities for it. But adding that spot just absolutely makes it, just makes it, just makes an absolute monster because you can now afford to bring Air Slash and be able to not miss as many hits as, as, as you would with Hurricane. But. Moving on, we have Superior by. Ah, I spelt Indi Indi Indianapolis Paul. Indianapolis results wrong. Whoops, my bad. But uh, the Tetra Prez, missing partner in crime here, picking up Superior. Now, this pick here is. It's a lackluster one, lackluster for sure. Going for a 10 point pick in the first round. I'm sorry, that's just. I, I know Ted is brand new to the format, so that's why I'm excusing it, but it is an absolutely stupid, stupid move to do. Stupid move. Like, why would you pick a 10-point mon when there are still 18-point mon on the board, 17, 17 16 on, on the board still? Don't think any, anyone's picked below 17 yet. No, I did with Bulu. Like, there are still mons on the board, and he's, and he's gone for a 10-point pick, so I see why he may have done it, but still could have been a... Third round pick. Easy. And sitting where he is, it ought to go back to him in the third round, I bet. If not, 
would have been he could have got it second round, but to get it first round is just dumb on my in in, in my opinion, just have to be stupid. But with the twelfth pick we have the Pittsburgh Pip Lops and I've used the Seattle Seattle Pro Promo now. That's why you don't do this from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. But. Zap Dose, Gainsey, Gains Wither Ball, Eerie Impulse, Air Slash, Brave Bird, and Hurricane. Zap Dose now has good flying type attacks to use. It even gets Rising Voltage, Dual Wing Beat. Like Zap Dose now has the flying attacks to back it up. Zapdos was very lackluster due to its lack of flying attacks. Now the fact that it has Brave Bird and Hurricane, you can run it physical or special, where, whatever you want. So Zapdos is a powerhouse here, and JJ is not for picking it up in uh, getting it. And um, and I'm looking forward to see what he can do with it. With it. Now, Snombi here, Snombi, 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 Snombi. With Mew, another mistake I've made, but the Victoria Bikinis and their coach Snombi picking up Mew. Mew is Mew, learns it, learns, learns, learns every mod it can in the game, every every move that it has to access to it learns. Like, Mew is the mod that can be. Mew is the most versatile mod in this format. All I'm gonna say. With pick 14, we have the Las Vegas Dragonites. And they coach Lazy Louie picking up Zero Aura here. Zero Aura, second fastest mod in the game in the form. No, oh, it's like the third or four. And I was talking about Dragon Ball as I was in Galadex. Oh, my bad. Oops, oh well. Uh, but with this being said, uh, we are looking at Zero Aura here. Zero or Zero or is just an absolute powerhouse. Well, powerhouse, I don't think it's a powerhouse, but it's just a mod that it troubles you because it forces you to run a scarf. And if you compare this with the, the Pokemon that's above base 120, every team is forced to run a scarf, or if not, rely heavily on their trick group because you will just chip down mons, chip down mons, and get freezy, easy finish off kills. Because all you have to do is come in when a when a Pokemon's dead to die, kill it. And if it doesn't kill, you you get chip onto another Pokemon. And then you get more chip by uh bot switching out. So Zero so Zero Aura is a good money and I'm and I'm, and I'm looking forward to see what Lazy can can do with it. But we have pick fifteen and the Inshader Ponitas and and they coach Quantum picking up Mal Metal here. Now Mal Metal Fairly, fairly self explanatory, does not want to take a special hit, but paired with a assault burst helps with that element with it. But Mum but Mumetal will take all the physical hits you want to give it and then it'll dish it back. Like it's like Mum Metal is basically your counter Pokemon without needing to without needing to use the move counter. That's how strong Mal Metal is on the physical side. Moving on, we have a uh, Dracovish being picked up by by Dear Stinko and the team Goodyear Gujar. The pick 16 with the wheel pick here. Dracovish fairly self-explanatory. There are there are a lot more answers to it, with whether it be dry skin or water absorb mon users or even storm drain users, as in gig and in, as in Gastrodom. But I still see why Shane has picked it up in round one. Essentially, round two also, but the pick now Shane again picking up Rillaboom, pairing Dracovish with that uh, with that uh, grassy terrain to be able to gain back health uh, for when Dracovish is run a scarfed. It helps neutralize Earthquake, Dig, and Bulldoze, all perfectly helpful. But Rillaboom gets access to knock off, it gets grassy glide just. Helps provide that extra support for Shane that, or for Dio that he is looking for. So next up, we have Clefable being picked up. No surprise here. Having having a Mel Metal and Clefable core is absolutely powerful. Just two Pokemon that you do not want to see on the same team. They are they are annoying enough to deal with by themselves, but once you pair them together, absolutely annoying. Clefable's poisoned up weakness, Mel Metal. Uh, Clefable's stirred up weakness, Mel Metal. Like. 
but Babel will handle the special hits that Mumbler can't take, and Melmetal will take the physical hits that Clever can't take when when built special. So next up we have Victini picked up by Lazy Louie. Now Victini, Cyber Sam's right base uh, base base 100 mythical Pokemon. U turn, Mystical Fire, V Create, gets the Z uh, Zekrom, Reshiram, Blue Flare, Fusion Bolt, Fusion Flare, Box Strike abilities, gets Glacier, also like Victini, has a lot of benefits that have been added to it over the years through events that it can now use to the, take into the draft format to be able to use it effectively. Heading into Alt Waffling. I can't do this because if I don't do this now, it's not going to be uploaded in time. So, Z move, I apologize. I'll make that to you guys in the future somehow, but I'm sure you also don't want to sit through four hours of a draft recap. So, 20 minutes done for 19 picks. Minute a pick. Coming at 192 picks error. So, for three hours. I'm going to try and make this an hour and a half, two hours. Watch me. Next up, we have the Victoria Bikini Slumby pick, picking up my Ethereum. Intimidate. Earthquake, U turn, Rock Polish, Swords Dance, Stealth Rock. Defog. Landorus is versatile, can be used supportively or offensively. 20, 21st pick has JJ Koo pick, picking up Gliscor. With his logo there now, finally, so we updated it in the first week, but oh well. But this score, he's picked up a second blind type, which he's 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 picked up a mod that has recently been buffed with its uh with its flying type attacks. But then he picks up a mod that doesn't get flying type attacks, other than it gets it gets it, it gets dual, dual dual wing bait with the thing. But it does get Psychic Fangs to be able to break down uh, screens. Yeah, so so uh, so it so it's up in that aspect. It's uh, it's a it's an annoying mon. Another sweeper that can be used, but but it also can be used defensively with the ability Toxic Kill, run a poison. Poison over that, you sweet sorted, perfect up. You move in 20 second pick from, from Ted. He's picked up Jalousep, another nine point mine. Like this is underwhelming. Like a, like a, like I understand Ted is new, is new, but wouldn't you want to go for the higher up picks? But Jalousep is still decent. But to be picked second is just leaving a sour taste in my mouth. 23rd, we have the Greek Charizards uh, picking up extra jewel, possibly looking for that sand team, but also the Mold Breaker just adds help for the Levitate users. Sweet Sword and Perfect helps helps out a lot. It can it gets rocks, it sword stands. It, it it is another ground type sweeper that can be used. Three out of four picks. The sweeping ground type mods that have both been picked up. Now, if Star Wars can pick up a Gigalith or a Tyranitar here, perfect to see. Would, would even would even love to see it. The Mega Sizzle picked up next by Junior, pick 24. Fairly self explanatory. Sizzle, awesome, perfect. He does have a massive fire weakness here though. So he will need to pick up a Flash Fire user. Just to, or even just a fire type to be able to take these hits, or even just a bulky water hit. That is all he needs. Fighting type is even going to be a problem for him. So even Jelson would would have been perfect to actually for him, but if you're taken already. But moving on to the next pick, we have Mega Guard Trump being, being, being picked up by Messiah. Pick 25. Guard Trump unfortunately did not get Dragon Dance from what we all thought, but you add Scale Shot onto this one. Speed boost up, and just guard Trump will absolutely take lives here. Guard Trump will take lives. Swipe, scare shot, and also scorching sand. So if you want to run it special, I don't know why, but it gets access to scorching sand, so it can even burn its opponents. But 
Guy Trump having access to scale shot. You get a you get a plus four percent scale shot. Two to five times, plus one speed boost. You are sitting there, plus two attack, using a scale shot to then get up to plus two. The only problem with this, if you if you have a mod that learns ice shot, most likely gonna kill Guy Trump after minus one. After a scale shot, due to the minus defense boost. But still. Gaktrop is still a threat here. Possibly could have been higher at 14 points, but the tiering was rushed. My fault on that again. But next up, we have uh, P26. And Shy picking up Slowbro here. Now, this one. Not too sure, it's not too sure, not too sure about Shy picking up Slowbro at P26. You still have the third round to come back to him still, so I would have, personally, I would have saved Slowbro for later. But Slowbro is just a, it's just an offensive tank, helps stop the flying, uh, the fire type attacks. They uh, threaten more while sorted. Next up, we have Mandoras picked up by Gato. We pick twenty-seven. Again, thirteen points. More is more value points one you can pick up. Like I get why they'd be doing it because they have the plan, but still, you have the you 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 have the third round to still come back to you. So feeling a bit like feel, feeling a bit underwhelmed here at the moment. Next up, we have the twenty eighth pick, uh, Ricky picking up Tapu Fini. Now smart pick here, <laughs> picking up a fifteen point one, going higher on the board. Yeah, pretty much a big feeny, type of feeny, soft, explanatory. Problem with Soul Stealer, he can still get burned. That's unfortunate, uh, but he has added another electric weakness with it, with in his first few picks. But he has stopped the uh, he has stopped the, gra the grass weakness against type of feeny for Soul Stealer. Perfect sort of there, and even poison. Steel covers that, so perfectly works well together. But he needs to pick up a, a, a ground type here. Perfect. Don Sam would be perfect. He gives him a spinner, gives him access to ice shard, helps help stop that guard drop. Next up, we have Hanny picking up Komoro. Now, Komoro does, does not get Clang Order of the Little Soul. Clang Soul, we'll call it that. So that's the reason why it is at 14 and not roughly around 16 or 17. But still a decent pick. Uh, can be run physical specially, so there's opportunities here for Komodo to be used. Next up, we have Corviknight from the Mum Crocodiles. Just that, uh, just an just an absolute physical tank that can also that can also be used as physically, offensively, and it, uh, even the iron defense body presses is it's just something you have to prep for every week and it's annoying you have to prep for it every week but it will, but it will probably come twice during the week so it is annoying one to prep for knowing the type of sets that it can be used against you next up we have a regular guy trump being picked up by a uh, free specter facades their coach ice ninja alpha Basically saying that it's Mega Garchomp, but less stats, faster at 102 rather than 92, so it is faster, so it is higher for that aspect. Without scale shot, it can it, it can use sword stance with 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 it without any scale shot, and affording to go for a higher attack yet, such as Dragon Claw, to be able to have a more consistent rate of damage being dealt out. Next up with the wheel pick, we have Seattle Prim Prim Raiders picking up Mega Dynasty for their second pick. Suffer Sonic Mega Dynasty 110. Pretty much forces your opponent to run one scar for every game, almost does, but can help back that mindset with it. He's picked up Infernape next. Works out really well. It helps stop the steel type attacks that work well against Dinosaur. Fiancy and Dragon Pult at the same time. Provides Mock Punch user as well. Even U turn and just a powerful mod to, to be able to use. Ice has drafted Scolopede next up. Awesome mod. Sword Stance again. 
instead of use a speed boost but can't pass any stats unfortunately pick 35 glob has picked up reuniclus opting to go for the defensive trick room aspect with his corviknight and just be able to stall his team out windle them down for urshifu to come in and finish up in the end next up we have we have handy picking up ferrothorn uh, Komoro helps stop the fire dark attacks here. Lele helps stop the fire team attacks. So it's a good, such a good fire steel core here. What am I saying? Dragon fairy steel core here. Awesome core. Range of speed tiers, but he is lacking in the 100 base speed tier or above. Which could hit which oh my hit her. Oh my god, I'm too tired. Which could hinder Hanny in the future. Hopefully she can pick up a speedy amount to help her or she can opt for the trick room aspect on draft. Next up we have Lucha being picked up for Lucha into rain. Sal self self explanatory. You 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 already know what it does. Next up we have he he can being picked up here. Picked up by Gator here. Something to uh, run with, run with an air balloon. Mandy Bass helps stop that. Grant that weakness that it has. Smooth Corona. Good. Provides rocks. Can also be ran bulky as well if need be and supportively. Next up we have Rotom Heat. Picking up another fire type here. Or no, no, no. Consecutive fire type in draft. Right of it for Sal, 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 Sal Willows, Vulture, because Hand Smooch with the bulky mod that can, that can, that, that, that can annoy a team really, really well. Next up we have, we have a side draft of Token Kiss. Awesome here with a Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Works out really well. Togekiss helps stops the ground type attacks uh, against the Aegis Slash. Also stops the dragon type attacks against the Garchomp. Well, Aegis Slash stops the uh, poison and steel type attacks against the Togekiss. It's not really well. Togekiss, Aegis Slash, too. Togekiss. Good very paired with Aegis Slash help how to break that team because then guard jump comes in, gets up slowly down, scale shot, down sort of swing, came over. Next up we have Hoop Unbound with pick 41, drafted by Junior. Now Hoopa, I'm, oh, I'm familiar with build up, but I'm unfamiliar with I do know that signature attack breaks to attack, which is powerful, but I'm looking forward to see how it, how how Abba can use it here. We shall see how they go with it. 42 picking up Mega Meta Champ, standard star Stock standard Mega Meta Champ here. Paired with, paired, paired, paired with Taunt Theory, it's amazing. You get your special attack age, your physical attack up, and just to fake out user, they also get huge power and just absolutely, absolutely able to hit like a truck. If he can pair this with the web's user, sorted, perfect. Game over system. Next up, we have Alolan Raichu now. Ted. I want to say good things, but <sighs> you're now forced to pick up Pink Urchin. Now, people say that you have a Lolan Raichu, and if they want Pink Urchin, they're going to pick it up now. So, you are now forced to get the Pink Urchin in the next round, which is then hindering you another good high point pick. Like, a Lolan Raichu could have lasted to the seventh round. Like, this draft here is triggering me but or not not actually remember how it's drafted that's, uh, that, that, that's what i should say pick 44 picked up by jj oh, oh. he is basically saying if you, if you bring toxic fuck off you don't need it because you aren't going to toxic my team with it's called the classical tox specs you are going to toxic my team and perfect, pick, and perfect to pick up Toxapex here. Electric attack, stop at this score. 
ground type attacks stopped by Zap Dose and Glue Skull. He's, he just needs to go. He just needs a dark type now to be able to stop Toxapex's threats that come to it. That uh, you just have a mon that's just absolutely defensive here and is and is annoying to deal with. Moving on, next up, we have uh, we have Slumby drafting Sylveon. It's not standard. Special wall. Wish up. Can everyone can everyone specs specs picks like pick picks like did, did get a nerf? But still powerful nonetheless. We have we have Greninja next up from La from late from Louis P46. Greninja stock standard. Variety move pool. Good speed stat. So his three ones are hunter lock. His his opponents are gonna have to bring scarfers against him, which will, which will then help Louis prepare, because if he can predict a scarfer, he can easily work around it and manipulate the team to, to playing in his hands. Okay, done sorted. Now, next up we have Broken Wash being drafted by Quantum here. Another another stock standard staple to the, to, to the draft league format. Bolt switch. Hydro is Hydro is in his risk. But at the same time, when it hits, it hits. But with that levitate, those ground types, that, those ground types that want to come in to stop the electro attack, do not want to take a one type attack and cannot hit the Rotom back with a with 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 a ground type. Okay, so next up we have the Goodyear Gujas picking up Nihilego Sweeper uh, has the lead. Just a mon that can be used to either break down a team or rip through a team. Re Bomb be picked up next. Mm. I see why he's got it here, but I still think it could have lasted to his fifth pick. But access the webs, good speed tier, two mons over 100, which which is always good to see early in the draft. Next up, we have Ladias, Wish, Dragon Dance. Does it Dragon Dance? Yeah, yeah. I think I think Dragon Dance get added. But also calm mind and just a 110 base. Awesome mon to have in your team because it can wall, it can it can dish out. And paired with and paired with my my little clefable, absolute power fucking house right now. This team is looking scary from Quantum. Las Vegas Ladias. Las Vegas Dragonites. Pick up Mega Aerodactyl. Now, oh, I get Aerodactyl gets the dance. I think it recently got. So let me have a look. Aerodactyl. It got Aerodactyl. It got Rock Blast, Dragon Dance, Hurricane, and Psychic Banks. Explains it. And at 150 speed. You can afford to run adamant with a dragon dance. You can afford to run adamant at base 150. So we have another rock type being picked up from Slumby in Terrakion here. Uh, Terrakion just uh, gets access quick attack justified. 
and just works out well for this team I would say ground type attacks go into Landorus sorted sweet ice type attacks you go to Terrakio who these two pillars together the intensity Tim and Landorus helps helps a lot also but next up we have mega low punny on this team mega low punny it's paired because Gliscor, Toxapex are uh, uh, able to break down teams. And uh, then if you make a low mega low penny come come in, gets access to to play rough now. U turn. Acrobatics, close combat, aura speed. Low sweep. Make a kick, payback, mega bunch of sure. It's like this Pokemon has got a boost. They ha have an access to U turn now, 135 base speed. Fake out U-turn, play rough, drain punch. That is basically all you need on this mod. Stock standard every week. Okay, yeah. So as I predicted, Pink Urchin was coming next with uh, Indianapolis results. He had to do it. He had no other choice. He was forcing himself into a hole where he where he was forced to get Pink Urchin next, which has now hindered him because he's missing out on these power house picks that are being picked up now. When he could be easily using them to build around Superior. With Superior as his first pick, he could have used he could have used Superior to build around and build a successful team. But instead he's gone for just low tier picks that are just annoying to see. Like I want, I want to see Ted do well. But watching this isn't giving me hope. Pick 55. Uh, we have Star Wolf picking up Tangrowth here. Regenerator, just a bulky grass mon. Run uh, not too much on the special set, but if you but if you run a soft vest, sort of regen out, get back 30 to 30, 30, 33 percent of your health, and just makes your opponent sigh in pain because they don't want to face it, but they're forced to. And you pair that with an extra girl, an Ethereum. Mega Meta Jam. Just all powerhouse picks that can be paired well together if built perfectly. Next up we have Cinderace Court Change. 120 Pyro Ball. An amazing speed stat, speed stat at 119. It, it, it is only Blaze, but it's still a mon that can has a wide range move pool. Even, even gets access to YouTube. And it's still a pain to build to build to prep against even if it does not have access to Liberia. Next up we have uh, Messiah picking up Vaporeon. Another bulky mon here. It seems like Messiah is building around his guard to do sweep late game most games. And is what it's looking like, you toxic, wish up. So you guard Trump can come in, put put a dent in the team, swap out, Vaporeon come in, wish. Come back in guard trunk. Sorted sweet, done stock standard. Also helps stop the bit of, bit of the ice weakness on the team, but if a team has a freeze dry, Aegis Slash is the only one that needs to come in and get that. But if, but if there's a memo on the other, side of the, on the other team, it, it's going to be a problem to deal with from Messiah's point of view. Next up, we have Shy picking up Latios, picking up the Lottie, uh, the Lottie. It's the same is more suited to run physical out of, out of the two but also especially one that they can be run bulky hit hard hard to deal with i am making about 45 minutes in 58 picks okay next one next round i'm gonna do two speed rounds in a row i'm just basically gonna speed them off here done sorted everyone scissor you turn pull a bunch Sweeper, done sorted by picked up a gator. Pick 60, Hydrogon from Rookie. Works well the team. Completes his FDS core. Theory Dragon still core. 61, Melodic from Henny. Adds a bulky mon to his FDS. Oh, to her FDS. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, I think she's well, I think she's only going on the link, so it's making it hard to say her. But 2020 Jesse, get pronouns correct. 
but here we are down here. Uh, Henny is picking up Armatech. Suits her really well here. Next up, we've been, we 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 have got picking up Mega Venusaur. Chlorophyll, if he, if he, if he can pick up a Sun user here, absolutely perfect. But we shall see where he goes with it. 63 Magnazone by Ice Ninja Alpha. As to that Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Uh, it's a bit underwhelming. To, to see a Magnazone paired with Bulu and Garchomp, but I'm sure Ice has a, has, has a plan to deal with it. So now, here we go. Reverly 64 Skarmory. 65 Nerdy King Reverly. Pick 66 Mega Slowbro from Ice. 67 Gal Galvantula Gold of Doom. 68 Mega Absol from Hanny. She wants a pick up. 69 Mega Gatterball by Ruki. 70 Ar Ar Araquanid by Gator. 71 Al Alolan Muck by Shy. 72 Weavile by Via Messiah. 73 Scythe Metoad by, by, by Abba. 74 Curum by Wolf. 75 Mega Save by Lie by, by Ted. Pick I want to see. Perfect pick to pick at this point. 12 points. Perfect time to pick this mod. Ted, well done. Next up, we have Jirachi. Not liking JJ's team at all. 77 Tentacle from Via Slombi. 78 Klefki by Louie. 79 Hit Paddle by Quantum. 80 via Mega Charizard X. Via. 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 Uh, there, Stinker. He's then picked up Fortress. Chestnut's up next with 82 from Quantum. Chansey by, via Louie. Snobby picking up Bonzong. JJQ picking up Ditto. Not liking this team. This team will be annoying to face. Next up we have Star Raptor from Ted. Another awesome pick to have right now. Giggle is being picked up by Star Wolf. Gets the extra drop pairing. Awesome, perfect. Uh, Galarian Weezing picked up by Abba. Awesome. Gives him the t gives him the misty terrain. Helps stop toxicing and burning of his mons. Helps stop burning Mega Sizzle. And Mega Sizzle can come in and bullet punch those fairy types that want to take use of the misty terrain. Sally up next from Messiah, pick 89. Mama Swan being picked up here by Minnesota Mimikyu's. Awesome work, love your work. Zygarde being picked up by Gator. Rotom picked up by Riki. Nader Queen by Hanny. Mimikyu by Glob. Blissey by Ice Ninja Alpha. Blissey and Chansey have, have, have both gone this round. Then we have Slow King to finish off this sixth round. Sixth round via here. Yeah. yeah. I'm lucky tempted to just fire off the rest of them and then just talk about the teams at the end. You know what? Fuck it. See me if he's gonna have the short draft. And so so what? Do you run us? Can't be fucked, I'm tired, I just wanna sleep. So, sorry, just a decision going on. So, Wibbly's picked up Viker Vault. Ice, Ice has picked up Chandelure. Glabber Hexorus. Hanny Dusk. Viker Mark Dusk. Ruki Alert Marowak. Gator Jolteon. Shy Aerodactyl. Messiah Raikou. About Miltank. Pr Wolf Primarina. Prez Granbull. Blaze JJ. Another sweeper. Thwacky from Snombi. Louis Concaldo. Quantum Moltres, Dio Bishop, Dio Mianchao, Quantum Savali, Louis Glagar, Cam Mega Camera Up Zombie, Chris. Uh, Chris Chriselli JJQ, Drapion Prez, Wolf Toxicity, Duraludon Abba, Him on Top Messiah, Breloom Sh Shy Breloom, Gator Poltergeist, Ricky Porygon 2, Henny Talonflame, Glob a la 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 la
glub, a lola mola, a lola mola, a ice tyranita, wibbly swallow, wibbly cordot, ice hitmonly, glub donfan, Miss M Honey Miss Magius, Ricky Rapirio, Gator Whimsicott, Shy Slurpoff, Messiah Rotom Fan, Abba Thunderous Therium, Star Wolf Pangoro, Prez Shuckle, JJ Clefairy, Snombi Kuja, Louis Rose Raid, Quantum Avalog, Dio Zerk, Detree, Dio Togetic, Quantum Corsola, Louis Glaceon, Snombi Esogor, JJ Hunchko, Ted Urshvu Rapid. See, uh, it's what I want to see. Late round Urshvu Rapid picks, yes. Fuck yes, Ted. Wolf Archaeops, Abba Verizion, Messiah Munchlax, Amberpom Shy Amberpom, Gator Garbodor. Some say that Gator looks like this in person. Rookie Smeagol, Hanny Lanoon, Glob Vanillax, Ice Mask Masquerain, Crabominal Webberly. Webberly's done for the draft. Ice has picked up Arctivish, Glob Typhlosion, Luxray Hanny, Rookie's done for the draft. Gator Amaldo, Shy Porygon, Weezing Messiah, Abba Frogadier, Wolf's done for the draft. Prez Vol Ted Volcarona, awesome, love to see. JJ done for the draft. Snom picking up Snomby, love to see, love your work. Louie done for the draft. Quantum picking up Leyland Grimer. Dio picking up Zygarde 10, Pu Dio picking up Pukimuku. Quantum picking up Shed Ninja, Louie done. Slum picking up Heliolisk, JJ done, Ted picking up Galerian Stunfisk, Star Wolf done, Abba done, Messiah, Messiah getting Dolphox, Shy done, Gator getting Type Null, Ricky done, Hanny, da, Hanny gets Fiony, Glob done, Ice done, Weaver done. Now, Weaver listing Dragapult, Diancy, Infernap, Skarmory, Nettiking, Slaking, Lackabut, Swallow, Crawdon, Crabominal. Decent team all over. He's gone for he's gone he's gone for just high point picks. He's first four six months are are you looking? Are you roughly are you you know what I mean? Are you 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 awesome? Feel like he's gonna be left picking the same six most weeks. A Dragapult, Diancy, Infernape, Skarmory. Then swapping up between Vikavolt, Swallow, Nettiking, and all essentially. Like I see four months coming pretty much almost every week. But overall, sell the draft. Done. Double flying. Nettiking is only his only grand type to stop that double flying. To stop the water there. Does does counter out effectively with the way I do my team charts. Still, maybe a maybe a bolt absorb user would have been happy to see, but he also does have access to webs there as well, which will help him out. Which which will help him out a lot with Dragapult being be, being able to run it uh, with an with an attack boosting nature and not needing that speed boosting nature at all. My dog's growling. If I get bashed on if if I get bashed on video, you all need to send me a hundred bucks. What are you doing? Who are you? Who are you? Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out now! I'm joking. 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 But moving on to the next team, we have a uh, Ice Mage Alpha and his team, the Free Spectre Facades, going. Opting for the 11 Mon team. Bulu, Garchomp, Scolopede, Magnezone, Mega Slowbro, Blissey, Chandelure, Tyranitar, Hitmonlee, Mashkar, and Arctivish. Double Water. See, 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 see. But he's opted for that. He's, uh, he's opted for some bulk. He's been able to pick up Tyranitar to pair with the Garchomp. Awesome, perfect. Love to see. Masquerade for the webs as well. Jason, I, I, I would rate this around a mid-section team. 
he mid section team here for sure. Now we have Glob and December Bubble Crocodiles with every single Corviknight, Rehignus, Mega Venus, with Garbantula, Mimikyu, Haxorus, Aloma, Mola, Dunfan, Minilux, Typhlosion, Mon. I would honestly rate this as one of the better teams in the league. For sure. Webs via Garbantula, like Venusaur. Did not pair it with a. with the Grout user. Which I would have loved to have seen with the Venusaur. But he does have the option to go for a sunny day with Typhlosion, but hopefully he can make a trade out in the future to pick up. So I don't think Nine Tails or Torkoal was picked up, so I would actually love to see him pick up a pick it up. But at the same time, he's also picked up Vanillux for that snow warning. Snow warning? Okay. I know it gets order or Auto hail with the Aurora Veil to be used, so good to see there. Next up, we have Hanny and her team that do have wiggly butt, the wiggle butts, and she's picked up Tepi Lele, Komodo, Ferrothorn, Malatic, Mega Absol, Nidoking, Lacrimal Dust, Total Famous, Magius, Luxray, Lanoon, Fiona, or Fion. Fion, I'm sure what Fion does. Never, never seen it. I think she may have picked it up to just pick it up. I don't know, proud of it. But good FDS core, bulky water, Mega Absol as a sweeper, come in, sweet sort of. Like I said, I love to see it. I love to see the Lux right there. Would have would have maybe preferred a different Actually, yeah, like I, said, I would have maybe preferred to seen a different normal type, to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of Linoon because it's a belly drumming extreme speed set. I do get why it's possible, but you bring a you bring a dark dark type, not a ghost type. I mean, it's pretty unfortunate. Someone like Mimikyu. Can help stall the noon, so we shall see as he uses it. But same overall, decent team, decent team, decent. Like to the telephone, like to like to like my dusk. The rock setters, magic, magic, but it's absolute, so doesn't need the doesn't need all a lot of hazard setters, but at the same time, you've got three of them, which which isn't bad. Next up, we have the Kansas City Dom fans and their coach Ricky getting Celesteela, Tapafini, Halucha, High Dragon, Mega Battle, Rotom Mo, Leather Mo, like Program to Rapirio and Smeagle. Decent team, Smeagle there for just your all round usage, learns, learns every move in the game. Steeler, Fini, High Dragon, love to see. I mean, picking up Gardevoir. Hmm. <sighs> Not a fan of not a fan of having Feeny and Gardevoir together. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling it. I like they would pair well together, but I'm just not feeling having a Feeny and Gardevoir together. I don't, I don't know why. Personally I'm just not feeling it. But I love the but I but I love the Solar Stealer. Love the Halucha paired with the Feeny and Hydreigon like he has Four mons do not want to take ground up attacks, which helps with the Marowak and Rhyperior there. Next up, we have Gator and his team, the Glaring Gentleman, picking up Mega Gallade, Mandibuzz, Heatran, Sizzle, Arachnid, Ligod, Jotel, and Portugal, Whimsy, Got, Garboda, Amelda, and Type Null. Type Null, if you like, boosted. Pfft. Hard to stop. Why is my music stopped? My music stopped, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. Been stopped for a while. Sorry guys. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about it. just listen to my fucking annoying voice. We're right with the webs, awesome, love to see. It. Sizzle there, that's it, hits powers. I love to see that he's gone for the heat chain sizzle combo. Double steel is good in a draft, I would say. 
because not many things. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? The double steel is good for your defensive Sahadi draft because most steel types are, are, are defensive. But with Sizzle, Super Fire annihilates it. The only thing that hits Sizzle effectively is Fire. Heatran comes in, takes that Fire hit, which works out perfectly. But ground type attacks. You then have your Mandibuzz, you, the, you then have your Whimsicott. Racking it as well, so a well built draft together. <sighs> Higher up there, I would say maybe top five, top six for the draft. There, next up, we have Shy and their team, the Minnesota Mimikus, and they picked up Mega Moral, Slaver, Rotom, Latios, Alolan, Mark, Mamoswine, Aerodactyl, Brilliant, Slurp, Puff, Heavy Pump, Porygon, Porygon, dumb pick. Be honest, could have probably picked up a better Eviolite user within the one point range. I understand why, but not feeling it. <sighs> Mega Mall, Opposite Powerhouse, Slowbro, Defensive, Latios, and Mega Mall. Wow. Awesome FDS call there. Would have, would have loved to have maybe seen him pick up an extra steel type, but choice. Go off, go off the double fairy. But he's mainly picked up so far for the webs I would say. Brilliant Mud Punch, Aerodactyl, gets, gets Dragon Dance and all that. We, we already know that. Hurricane, Mammoth Swine. <sighs> nothing, wants to, nothing wants to swap into it. Jewel, Stab Mammoth Swine. Hard to deal with. Next up, we have the Vienna Vibe Shake, uh, Blind Messiah, picking up Aegis Lash, Nugget Garchomp, Nugget Gifts, Leporium, Weebly, Celebi, Raikou, Hitmontop, Rotom, Fan, much like Weezing, Dark Fox. Now, I, I would write this a top three team. Personally, a top three team. That FDS core is fucking amazing. Then to have the Weebly as well, to add that to add that high speed component, Dark Fox at 105. Munchlax, <sighs> only thing I don't like about the team's Munchlax. Would have possibly, would have possibly, would have possibly preferred to pick up something other than Rotom Fan because I find Rotom Fan is absolutely fucking useless. Do you have a fire? Do you have a flying type that has the, that has the ability to levitate? Absolutely fucking useless of a mon. But at the same time, I do still rate it just because of how bulky Rotom is. But at the same time, <sighs> rate it. But I don't. But I still think it's a super mon. But I would still rate this top three top top 14 for sure. Next up we have Abba picking up Clear and Diamantan oh, and their team the Verbank City Victory picking up picking up Gidam, Mega Scizor, Hooper and Bound, Cinderace, Seismato, Clear and Weezing, Miltank, Duralodon, Thunderous Nero and Virgil and Frogadier. Frogadier is a power pick. I will I will back that to this day. Frogadier is amazing because it because it can use Protean. Run that with a scarf, run that with a if you like you're sorted. Glaring Weezing, Terrain Setting, Awesome Perfect, Mill Tank, Store, Duraladon. Pair that with the Weezing, Awesome, Sweet, Sort of Perfect, and Extra Steel Type to be able to have that extra FDS to the core with it. Works out well, really awesome and good. Rockers are looking well on this team, looking really well on this team. Love to see it. Great Charizard and Echo Star Wolf has picked up Tornado Steer and Extra Drill, Mega Metacham, Tangrowth, Curum, Giggles, Primarina, Toxicity, Pangora, and Archaeops. Opted for the 10 Mon part of the draft. Torn Theorian, absolutely beast. Extra Drill compared with Gigalith, awesome. Love to see the Curum, they love to see the Curum. Love to see the Primarina as well. Like, this team would be up there, top 5. For sure, top five for sure. Team there. So we have Ted for Prez and his and their team, the Indianapolis Pulse Zolts. Picking up Superior Gallus and Ida Mike, Pink Coach, Mega Saber, Staraptor, Grandpa, Drapion, Shuckle, Eshu Rapid, Volcano, and Clarence Dog Fist. Now I will say they have 15 points left to use. Honestly, West Team in the draft. West Team. Ted, I'm sorry, but 
just your usage of your points and how you've drafted it, the worst. Like getting a shrew and Volker run a late. Awesome, perfect, fucking love that for you. But, still shit. Don't even see synergy well. Double water, double bug, double dark. And to have your steel type as a glaring sunfisk, not a fan. Or your primary steel type as a, as, as a glaring sunfisk. Next up, we have JJ Crew and Pitsu Pip Pops. Now, in terms of annoying it, in terms of annoying, number one draft. But to f may not be the best draft you look at, but still, to be able to beat this draft, you have to bring everything you got or beat it at its own game. And doing that, that's the reason why I. That's the reason why I'm going to rate this draft top three, top two. Just it's just the simple fact of how you would have to play around it. It's gonna be annoying and no other team I see here has quite the ability to play to beat it to beat it at its own game. So you have to run full offensive just to try and beat this team. But then you have your low punny. You are then forced to run a scarf. Your scarf then gets whittled down by the bulk on this team. Blaze Blaze on coming in scarf. And would have probably loved to see him get up a get a webs user would have maybe helped a bit but same time and still any any stereotype being clefairy also not a fan now that I'm looking at it again I'm not rating it so much because I'm thinking how I would now go about it with other teams in the league and nah top 18 for sure top 18 but not I uh, but not top two top three I was I was I was just thinking of the bulk there, and yeah, nah, I'm going top 18 now, for sure. Start we have Slomby, uh, their team, the Victoria Victinis, with Mew, Lando Styrian, Sylveon, Terrakion, Tentacle, Bronzong, Thwacky, Mega Camera, Baguja, Asalgo, Slom, and Helio, Lisk. For that, for the Slom pick, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one draft. But. Mew, awesome. Love, love to see Mew and Lando spread together with the Sylveon as well. Add, add that extra special bulk. Terrakion as well to help the Dark Type attacks against the Mew. Sorted. Bronzong helps to the Levitate with Thunderous, Thunderous Therium. Sorted. Let's see the Goo try to pair off with the Goo draw. Ghoul Ground Water. Would have probably preferred to see. Um, why am I thinking that Asalgo gets an auto absorb ability? Huh? Hydration, that's why in rain. Does hydration do anything else? Like, yeah, just in rain. Kuja, Kuja gets hydration also. Okay, so. Fair enough then. Decent team, decent team. Got some powerful ones on there. But I'd love to see how, 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 how Slum will use them. Slum is talented. Look and see how they can use him in battle. Next up, we have Lazy Lily, Dead Tens, Las Vegas Dragonites, picking up Zero Aura, Bikini, Greninja, Mega Aerodactyl, Clef Cute, Chansey, Conkelda, Glygar, Rose Red Clay, and Glaceon. Opted, opted for the Ten one also. Liking the, liking the team, liking the team, you're liking the team for sure. Mega Aerodactyl did not get the boost with the Gen 8. I would say this is a shit team, but just adding in the fact that it gets that, it adds to it so much because it adds to the offensive pressure a lot here. Klefki. 
Yeah, see, with the Klefki, the Klefki is probably Klefki as your primary fairy and steel type. Uh, nah, okay, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna push the team lower. I would even say uh, top 8, or maybe just missing at top 8, I would say. Quantum, the second last? No, yep, second last team judge here. One team, perfect, awesome. And uh, Quantum and their team, the Shadow Prote Protectors, Melmetal Clefable, Rotom Watch, Ladias, Imperdon, Jack Chestnut, Moltres, Sibel, Avalon, Corsola, Lemon Grammar, Shed Ninja. If he had gone Lemon Grammar, Shed, Shed Ninja for a two point mon, would have rated the team high, but the fact that he's got them top five, but just the fact that he has Melmetal Clefable and then Ladias as well, add on to that, then Imperdon. Powered on, you get, you get the magic guard, you get clip the metal metal, you powered on, you can run safety goggles, rotate on wash, and just <sighs> form ones don't get affected by the sandstorm, and just works out really well. <sighs> right, right, this team high if it did not have the shed ninja because I don't ever see quantum bringing shed ninja unless he's mean. If he does, you're fucking stupid because most people will see Shed Ninja and run your fire, dark, uh, rock coverage on your thing. They will even hazard stack it up. Focus Ash does not stop hazard stack, I'm pretty sure. But last team on the menu, Dio Stinker and, and their team, the Good Year Googes, picking up Dracovish, Willowboom, Nihilogo, Rubombi, Mega Charizard X, Boracus, Bishop, Mean Shout, Zerka Tree, Togetic, Zygarde. 10% and Puku Muku. Shane, Shane is a talented bloke, I know he is, played him before. Kick my ass. Pretty sure. But like in the team, the Mega Charizard X benefits well from the Rillaboom, Crossy Surge. So does so does so does in the Lego. Take a tick as your flying type, as your primary flying type, not a fan. So it's, uh, see these teams are looking so good, but then they have these one to two mons that are like, mm, fucking dumbass, just draw something else, you fucking dumbass. But at the same time, I am not the best player myself, I'm a B-Tech player at the moment, <laughs> after being demoted, so I would now consider myself bottom of the D-Max at the moment, uh, I have to, I have to work my uh, way up, but I'm just giving the best advice that I can, my personal opinion. Don't hate, but hate me all you want, because I will fuck you up in the end. So, being set. Team's decent. Marks the team. Fortress Bishop. Would have probably preferred to see a Flashfire user. And the fact that. But. If you can miss your hub with that and Zygarde strip, with that being said. Check out Wylander for designing. Everything you've seen on the screen here, I've just I've just edited it basically. Check out his Twitter portfolio, get some shit from him. Check out my links below, and also check out all of the coaches links that I have down in the description below. With that being said, this has been your boy from Landon Under, Jamon99, signing off, and peace.